Hi guys, I am Saloni and welcome back to my channel Codera. So guys, in today's video, I am going to share an interview experience of a candidate who applied for the role of operations executive with the package of 2.2 lakh per annum and he is from 2022 batch. So here, candidate don't want to reveal his name, that's why I can't tell you his name. And guys, if you have done BSc, BCA and also if you have done Diploma in CS, IT, EC and EE then you are also eligible for this role. So guys, this video is going to be very important for you. So now let's see what are the question interviewer asked him. So first interviewer asked him to show his ID proof. So as ID proof you can use your college ID or any government ID proof like Aadhaar card. So guys, Infosys always first ask for the ID proof. So be ready with your ID proof at the time of the interview. And then the interviewer asked him very obvious question which is tell me about yourself. So I have discussed this question many times in my previous video and I will provide the video link in the description box. But here one thing I would suggest you that this is the very common question. So prepare it very well. After this question, the next question interviewer asked him was, what do you know about C and C++? So in answer of this question, the candidate told him some concept of C and C++ like for loop, if statement, switch case and so on, whatever the concept he knows. Then after that, the next question was, what is the difference between C and C++? And guys, this question is very important and I have already uploaded a video on this question. So guys, you can refer that video and its link is in the description box. Now let's see what was the next question. So the next question was tell me about the loops. So in answer of this question, you can say like there are two type of loops. First is entry control loop which includes for loop and while loop. And the second one is exit control loops which includes do while loop. And then mention one line definition of all these three loops. After this answer, interviewer asked him to write a program to print 5 numbers using for loop. So guys, this is a damn easy program. And here is the program and its output. So the first one is in C language and the other one is in C++ language. So you can pause this screen and check out the program. Now our next question is, why do you want to join IT sector? So to answer this question, you can say like, as we are living in the era of technology. Hence, IT industries are growing very rapidly. So in this sector, my career has more growth opportunity and I also found myself more interested in technologies. That's why I want to come in IT sector. And then interviewer asked him, have you visited any IT park? So its answer is completely depend on you. If you have visited, then you can say yes. Otherwise, you can say no. So now our next question is, would you be willing to relocate if required? So its answer is completely depend on you, its answer may be yes or no. But here I would suggest you to say yes, because every company wants the employee who is flexible, who can relocate according to the company's need. So if your answer is yes, so you can say like, yes, I am very excited about this opportunity to use my skills and I love to visit different cities and to meet new people. So I am definitely open to relocate. And suppose if you will say no in answer of this question, then the interviewer may think that you are very particular about the job location. So in case of this situation, instead of directly saying no, you should say like, I do love living in Indore and would prefer to stay here. However, for the right opportunity, I would be willing to consider relocating if necessary. So this is how you can answer this question. And then the interviewer asked him, do you want to relocate specifically to any place? So guys, its answer is completely dependent on you. Its answer may vary from person to person. And in last, the interviewer asked him, do you have any question for me? So guys, don't miss this opportunity because most of the candidates say, no, I don't have any question, but you should ask question because it shows that you cares about the organization. So you can ask one or two question that are focused on the organization. So you can ask like, what are the goal the company has for the next year? So it shows that you are planning to work for a long time with the firm. Or you can ask the question related to your job role. So you can ask, if I selected for the role, 
then what could i do in this role to help you achieve your vision it shows that you are really interested in joining the company so this is how you can answer this question so guys that's all about today's video i hope this video will help you in your interview preparation and if any of my video helps you for getting selected then please drop a comment in the comment box it will motivate me a lot to upload more videos so guys please share this video and subscribe our channel thank you so much for watching